In most Shopify themes, when your product goes on sale, it looks something like this. You have the old price, the full price that is crossed out. You have the new price here and you might have something like a sale badge. Well, what if you wanted to add a little bit more emphasis to the sale? Show your customers exactly how much they're saving or what percentage off that sale is. And what if you want to replace that sale badge with something like the actual percentage discount value, right? We can totally remove this and have it looking like this if you want. Um, and this is very easy to do. It's very quick and easy for this one here. If you want it on a separate line from the product price, then you don't even need to edit your theme code. Um, all you need to do is use the custom liquid block and I'll give you the code to add here. You don't need to be a developer, by the way, as with all my videos, this method is going to work for any theme. Uh, this method is going to be just for the dawn based themes like the free Shopify themes. Now there is one downside to this tutorial and that's that it does not work if you have differently priced variants. Okay, so I'm assuming that most people do not have differently priced variants like different colors. They're usually the same price. But in case you do, then uh, this is not dynamic. Okay, because that would make the tutorial much more complex. Today, we're just talking about the easy way where this is static. So you either don't have variants or all your variants are the same price with the same kind of sale. However, this badge option is kind of better in that scenario, because if you don't have a sale at all on one of the variants, then that badge will disappear. Whereas this just stays there all the time. It's just static. Okay. So with all that said, let's get started. The first step is to open up a product that you have on sale in the theme editor. When I say on sale, I mean that basically, if you're new to Shopify, you need to fill out the compare at price and you have a new price, right? And then this compare at price is what gets crossed out. And on this page, let's add a block. We're adding a custom liquid block and let's drag that up. I prefer it above the price. And the first thing we're going to do is open up these double curly braces, which is where we write liquid code when we want to output something. And in here, we're going to write product dot compare underscore at underscore price. And let's see what that does. So as you can see, 3000, it's not 3000, it's 30.00, right? So it just hasn't been formatted yet. It's like the raw price in Shopify is always like that doesn't matter, we can work with that. So we're doing product.compare at price. And then we're going to filter that with the pipe symbol. The pipe symbol is like where you have backslash. So shift backslash is pipe and then minus like this. And then we have product.price. Okay, so the old price minus the new price. So in my case, $30 minus $20 is $10. And then finally, we can filter with the Shopify money filter, which formats that as money. Now I got to talk about the money filter a little bit, because you may want to display this in different ways. In Shopify, we have a, a bunch of different um, options with this money filter. So we can use money with currency, and that will add like USD or AUD or CAD on, on the end. Um, money without currency, it looks like this. So we don't have the dollar symbol either. Money without trailing zeros just looks like a shortened $10 without the decimals, right? So you can use whichever one you want in uh, in this filter. So, you know, money underscore with underscore currency would show me $10 AUD, right? But I'm just going to leave it as money. By the way, this blog post here is where you can copy and paste the code from and I'll put the link in the video description. You don't want to leave it naked like this, you want to at least put it in a paragraph tag, a HTML paragraph tag. And now that should take on the uh, the font size and the color of most of your paragraph text, which I think is what you want. And then lastly, you want to add some text in here, like you save this amount, right? Later, I'll also show you how to style this so it looks more like a badge or something or at least in a gray box. Uh, but for now, let's talk about if you want to show the percentage saving rather than the dollar value. So if you want to do the percentage, it's just a slightly more complicated piece of maths. Um, I recommend just copying and pasting from my blog post. But essentially what it's doing is, again, the compare it price minus the product price times 100 
and then divided by the compare at price, right? So here, here's what actually happens on my product 30 minus 20 times 100 divided by 30 equals 33%. Let's copy this and just paste it in here. And you'll see that we get 33% off. I've, I've added, of course, the you get 33. And you got to add the percent symbol off, or whatever it is you want to say. Let's also put this in a paragraph. And then finally, you don't want this showing up on all products, because products that are not on sale, these are both going to show zero. So you want an if statement, you want to wrap all of this inside an if, if the product compare at price is larger than the current product price. Okay, so like basically if the product is on sale, and don't forget to put an end if under all of the code. Now, finally, I think it's time to make this look a bit nicer. And I like the way Gymshark did it with this subtle gray background. You know, it looks nice. So let's copy that. I'm going to add some style tags, open style tag, end style tag. I've added them inside of the end if because we don't need these styles if if this isn't showing up, right? If the product's not on sale. And here we need to target these paragraphs. How do we do that? We do that with a class. So I'm going to give it a class of savings amount. If you're completely new to CSS, a class is like kind of like naming your your element um, based on like what it does. It's just a name that you give it so that you can then target it dot means class open up these uh, curly brackets and here we can write CSS we're now targeting these elements well only this one right now because I haven't added the class to the second one but let's add a background for example it's light gray f5 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 I don't think we want it full width like that so I'm gonna say display inline block that's going to mean that it kind of only stays the width of the content that it is sorry had a typo in there okay so now it's the width of the content um that's too tight on the sides there so obviously we want some padding we might want some top and bottom padding as well so i'll go with padding three pixels on the top and bottom and 10 pixels on the left and right this is shorthand you could also, if it's easier for you, you could write padding top, three pixels, you know, padding bottom, and you know, the same for left and right, you could write them out as four separate lines, but this is shorthand how you write it in one line. The first value is top and bottom, the second value is left and right. Next, I think I want to make the font weight bold. Okay, that looks a bit nicer, that stands out a bit more. And let's just add this class to the second paragraph element as well, the percentage one, just so I can see what that looks like. It moves up because it gets the display inline block, which means that it's no longer on its own line in full width, right? Um, but that's fine. You're not going to have both of these at the same time, probably. Let's save that for now and see what it actually looks like on the front end. So I'll refresh here. And that looks pretty good. I think that there's too much spacing above and below. So I'm actually going to right click inspect and I want to see what that spacing is. That's a margin that's added automatically in Dawn theme to all elements that are inside this product information section. And I want to reduce that a little bit. As you can see here, we can see where it's declared margin 1.5 rem. One rem is just a standard font size uh, on, on most websites. It's either 14 or 16 pixels. Anyway, the point is that we can reduce this. Um, let's say that maybe we wanted to make it something like margin 0 0.5 rem. And then see, this is the top and bottom, top and bottom. And then the second value is zero. So that's the sides. So maybe something like that, that looks a bit nicer. So. I've just written this in the Chrome inspector, as you can see, but I'll paste that into here. That looks a bit nicer. You could also just make it margin zero and that will look fine as well. And then I think the font size is too big. So let's make it font 
size 12 pixels like so and I think we're done with this uh, Gymshark style one. I'm quite happy with how that looks. If you prefer a louder style, like a green badge like this, I've also written some CSS for you already that you can copy and paste and maybe tweak a bit. You'll probably want to change the color, the background here. But yeah, you can grab that from the blog post as well. If you want to learn more details about how to write CSS like this, check out the video description. I do have an ebook where I teach the basics of HTML and CSS for people who are complete beginners to code. I teach it in a way that's very applicable to Shopify specifically. As I mentioned before, this uh, method with adding the code inside custom liquid should work for every theme because you're not editing theme code and every almost every theme has this custom liquid block. Now we're going to talk about changing the sale badge here, which is specific to dawn based themes. That's the free Shopify themes on the Shopify theme store like craft crave sense and other ones like that. So to do that, first of all, let's open up the code editor, click here and edit code that will open up your code editor. And you're going to search for price dot liquid. Okay, open up price dot liquid. That's this little snippet that outputs all of the code and all the calculations for this part of the page here, basically. Um, and inside of there, you can see the code for the badges. If show badges, that's a setting elsewhere in the theme. But here's the actual badge code. This is the sale badge and this is the sold out badge that shows when a product is sold out, obviously. There's a few ways to do this. Um, and first I'll show you the one where we just we just replace this sale text completely with our percentage calculation instead. And to do that, it's, it's just as easy as basically copying that percentage code that we had. Copy from here or copy from my site from my blog post, just this percentage calculation here with the percent off, but without the other code wrapping around it. And without the paragraph tag, yeah, you don't need the HTML paragraph tags. So just the liquid with percent off. So I've just completely replaced that line of code with with my own. And we're going to save. And that should be enough that should do it. Let's refresh. And here we have 33% off. You can actually play around with this. There are other ways to do it. So for example, let's copy this and then just undo. So it goes back to the original code. That's just the sale badge. Outside of this end if I'm going to paste my new badge. And that's going to put another badge next to the sales badge just in case you want something like that. Um, you can also remove this uh, color setting and it's actually going to fall back to kind of this nice subtle outline like that. And I think that's all for this video. Like I said, you can copy and paste most of the code from the blog post, which I'll put in the video description. You might also want to just visit the homepage of my website where you can find the ebook as well that I mentioned. If you want to do things like this with ease, if you want to know the basics of HTML and CSS in a specific Shopify context, then this book is for you. And also, if you have any trouble with this tutorial, then I recommend asking in the Discord community. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.